All right, here we go. So this particular match is a match going up against a streamer. Now this is a banned deck. I want to throw that out there. This deck cannot be played in the standard mode. You have to be in unlimited mode to play this particular deck. But I wanted to showcase if tier limits was at full power and if some of these cards were unlimited, how bad and how busted tier limits would be. Check this out. This is what tier limits would look like at full power. So I'm going to activate Sharon right here, send him early, go Sprite Elf. Sprite Elf will revive the Merly. I'm just doing this just because. Why not? He activates Mirror Force right here. Pops this card if this card is targeted. Of course, you, you guys know yada 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 about the blue eye stuff. We are going to go into Kick Close. We are in the battle phase, however. Which is super, super, super funny. In case y'all didn't notice that. Then we are going to go into Kaleido Heart right here. Kaleido Heart is going to send the Maiden back into his deck. We are going to attack, getting him to his last 1,100 life points. I'm going to shuffle a few cards back into the deck right here. Activate Rainbow Bridge of Salvation so we can grab the Field Spell. Shuffle a few more cards back into the deck. And like I said, as y'all saw, Graceful Charity was there. Herald of Orange Light is at 3 in this deck. We are going to send the Kikilos. Milling more cards. Resummoning out the Rhino Heart right here. Then I go into Rule Close. Now, I do make a little bit of a misplay here. Going to Sprite Elf just to clear that space out right there. Herald of Orange Light and negate that card in the graveyard. No advantage for you, my boy. And then I'm going to activate Gravekeeper's Trap right here. He is going to activate Swords of Revealing Light. Now, we are on his turn Watch how crazy this is. Going to send some cards, start milling, milled Cyberstein right there. So use the Kaleido Heart to send back his Swords of Revealing Light back into his deck. And then he is going to end his turn. My board is crazy. And we are not done. We are going to get even crazier. Watch how insane this board gets. If Tier Limits was at full power, 100% no decks could beat it. We're going to pop this card that's right here just to clear up some space and then be able to use that diviner so we can go into Baron de Floor right here, sending another shuffler. Then we're going to use that scream to start milling more cards, going to Millennium Eyes Restrict. Then going to Kick Close right here, activate Kick Close, grabbing Heartbeat, activate Grass Looks Greener, going into more mills, more plays. Sending some more cards, and then we're going to go into Rule Close. This is insane, bro. This is too insane. Then we're going to set Crime from the Graveyard. Now, look at this board. What in the fuck could possibly beat this shit? Like, every single space on the fucking field is filled up. We've used 100% of the field... This guy has no fucking chance in hell. Look what he's got. No fucking chance in hell. We got field spell to pop. Special summon the gate with rule close. Send a spin a card back with Kaleido Heart. Monster negate on the field with Draco Stapelia. We got monster negate with Millennium Eyes Restrict. This can negate anything in his graveyard, uh, anything on the field. Um, and then if if it just so happens to equip that monster, it can negate it as well. We don't have space in our spell and trap zone to be able to actually use its effect. But I can clear a space at pretty much any time. If they're going to activate an effect, all I have to do really is just Omni negate it with Crime first. That would spin it back. And then on the next effect they would activate, I would use Millennium Eyes Restrict. Or if they set a spell or trap or whatever the case, I can pop it. There's ways to use this card's effect. Then we got Baron de Floor, another Omni Negate. Sprite Elf. We don't even have space to revive with Sprite Elf, but it's there. The option's there. If a space gets cleared, it's there. 
gravekeeper's trap. My opponent's graveyard is turned off. There's exchange of spirit right there. He can't use any effects in his graveyard, and most of his deck is actually in the graveyard. 36 of his cards are in the graveyard there. He's got four cards left in his deck. This is insane. We also got a backup Sullyak in our hand. We got Kelbeck, so if we do have a space and something is sent from his deck to the graveyard we can send whatever's on his field back into his hand we also got Havness in our hand as a form of interaction so Havness can do the same thing it can basically once he activates a monster effect on the field literally start milling in our graveyard <laughs> we got the very much so banned pot of greed um, we also have exchange the spirit in our graveyard we got look at this three Kelbeck if Kelbeck was at three three Agito in our graveyard right here and I could still shuffle those back and still get their effects so insane we got everything pretty much at three that we want at three Cyberstein uh, we got graceful charity in this deck just insane stuff uh kick close i put kick close in this deck to two just because it's limited so i put it to two insane deck right here if this was at full power this is what y'all would be looking at is a insane board just like this so what does super do in front of all of his stream i type in gg easy and he bounces what's the point of playing through this shit bro like whose idea was it when they thought of this deck whose idea was it to say this was a good idea to make a deck that plays like this bro this is the most busted shit of all time i'm not even capping bro but hopefully y'all enjoyed this video and peace